Yo guys, what is going on? JPS back for another video. And today we're going to be reacting to UK gun laws explained. Now, if you know anything about the United States of America, it is very, 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 very easy to gain access to a gun. And Texas, actually, a state in the US, made it super easy to access a gun, um, even easier than before. So yeah, the background checks are they're there but they're not you know as heavy as some people would like and basically to justify owning a gun all you really need is i want one which for some people they disagree with that and there's a lot of uh, conflict with that you know there's one part of uh, one half of the united states who doesn't want guns really at all in circulation they want a lot of gun control and then another part who wants anyone who wants to own a gun to have a gun so really really difficult stuff but i'm curious to see what it's like in the united kingdom because i have no idea um i've reacted to something about gun control on my patreon before but it was like a comedy stand-up thing it was never something that explained the laws so let's get it i'm actually super curious if you're new here hit the subscribe button and yeah Adam explains where I break down tough topics and give you the facts. Before we begin, if I could take this time to request so that you loud, like, man. comment, and subscribe if you enjoy this video. Without further ado, let's get into it. Guns are heavily restricted in the UK, but contrary to what many people believe, including many Brits, owning a firearm is not illegal. On average, Britain has 6.5 guns per 100 people, compared to the USA, which has 101 guns per 100 people, according to the Small Arms Survey. Unlike the Americans with the Second Amendment, gun ownership in the UK is a privilege, not a right. Whether mm. or not this is the right approach is not up for debate in this video, but feel free to discuss it at length in the comments. Yeah, yeah, hey, also, also, guys, not just in his comments, comment down below what you guys think. What do you think? Is it, should it be a right? Should you have the right to own guns? Okay, I'm gonna talk more about it at the end of the video, but let's just uh, watch this. I'm turning it down a bit. My, my ear is hurting. <laughs> I think my ears is hurt. Firearms control in the UK is among the toughest in the world, and firearms offences continue to make up less than 0.2% of recorded crime. As you would expect, with such low gun ownership, gun-related deaths are incredibly rare. According to the Geneva Declaration of Armed Violence and Development, it stands at one death per million people per year. The UK population is around about 56 million people and that only adds up to around 50 to 60 gun homicides annually. The rules around gun ownership can wow. vary depending on where you are in the UK, particularly in Northern Ireland where due to the Good Friday Agreement the laws are much less restrictive and over 5% of the population own a firearm, though these gun owners are not permitted to transport their weapons to mainland uh. Britain. So who, in general, can obtain a firearm? To possess or purchase a firearm, an individual in the UK must be assessed as not posing a threat to public safety by the police, who act as the licensing authority. In addition, the individual must have a good reason to own a firearm and be able to demonstrate to the licensing authority that they require their firearm for work, sport or leisure on a regular legitimate basis, such as being a member of a target shooting club. Okay. The reason the police are the licensing authority is because they possess local information that helps inform their judgement. And discretion over what constitutes a good reason is often left up to chief officers. To own a firearm in the UK, a person must undergo a strict vetting procedure, which includes interviews, visits to the person's property, criminal record checks, wow. and references from friends. In addition, the applicant's GP may be contacted. Once I can tell you right now, <laughs> background checks in the US, they're definitely not visiting your house. No way. <laughs> references from friends. In addition, the applicant's GP may be contacted. Once a firearm license is issued and paid for, the licensed individual must store their gun securely to avoid access by any unlicensed person. What firearms may be licensed in the UK? Unless declared specially dangerous by the Firearms Dangerous Air Weapons Rules of 1969, low-powered air weapons are generally not licensed in England and Wales. That means that if you purchase one of these, you do not require a license in order to possess it. It is often said that handguns are outright banned, which is not strictly true. An individual may own long-barreled revolvers and long-barreled pistols, which are defined with a barrel of at least 30 centimeters in length, That's and big. that the firearm is at least 60 centimeters long. 
long-barreled single-shot firearms of any caliber and semi-automatic pistols of 22 rimfire caliber are permitted with a firearm certificate. Those that do not meet these criteria would be considered a pistol in UK law and are effectively banned, with the exception of muzzle-loading pistols, including muzzle-loading revolvers, which are permitted as long as they meet the criteria set forth in the regulations. All of the pistols are prohibited in Great Britain. Shotguns are legal on a shotgun certificate as long as they can't hold more than three shotgun shells, including the one in the chamber, That's if it's fair. a pump action or semi-automatic shotgun. However, shotguns with a detachable magazine or larger fixed magazine are still permitted, but you'll have to obtain a section one firearm certificate. Rifles are uh. also permitted. These are defined by UK law as a rifled firearm with a barrel longer than 30 centimeters or 12 inches, and a total length of the rifle must be longer than 60 centimeters or 24 inches. And it must also not fall under the classification of a long barrel revolver or pistol. Rifles are permitted in any caliber size, as long as it doesn't meet the definition of self-loading or pump action. Semi-automatic or pump action rifles are only permitted at a 22 rimfire caliber. What might surprise you is that under UK law, it is legal for you to own the following weaponry, with the correct licensing of course. The M&P 1522, which is based on the AR-15, H&K 416, semi-automatic 22 rimfire caliber MP5, That's Ruger 1022, surprising. Beretta ARX 160, and you can even own an Uzi as long as it's a 22 rimfire caliber. That's really surprising, honestly. I did not expect those. I mean, obviously you need probably some very hard to get licenses, but still, I'm I'm shocked. So next time someone says that the UK banned guns, we didn't, but we do strongly restrict and control who can own firearms and what firearms can be owned. And generally speaking, culturally, we don't have the same affinity or interest in firearms as our American cousins. Whether that's yeah. a good thing or a bad thing, I'll leave up to you. So let me know in the comments your thoughts on the UK's approach to gun laws. I'd love to hear it. Does it shock you? Does it concern you? Let me know. Thanks for- I'm gonna be honest. I really, 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 really like the UK's approach to gun laws. Like, that's it might, that's how I see gun laws. Like, I think that's how that should be in America um, or the United States. But um, it's true, though. Like, we have such a fascination with guns. Well, not we. I don't claim. <laughs> hey, all those people who say, like, oh, I love guns. I shoot everybody. Blah, blah, blah. That's not me. So whenever you guys think of that t stereotypical American... Don't include me with that, because I do not claim those people. Not me. Um, but yeah, I agree with this. I, I think guns are, are really not necessary in almost all instances. I mean, there's definitely some times where they are um, necessary for professions and stuff like that. But, you know, it is what it is. Um, I just, I don't... The, the main thing is the people who say they need them for like leisure and stuff and then they have like a AR-15 or like <laughs> Like what leisure do you need that for my boy? PM like guns for hunting. Okay, it makes sense. But like why do you need <laughs> all like 30 guns and like semi-automatic and all these th and all these clips and stuff like bro, you are not hunting you are killing somebody <laughs> um, But yeah, that's just in reality, I, I think we, we need to come up with more compromises because it, two sides want things that are completely different and we're not going to get anywhere unless people compromise. But I definitely understand the different perspectives on gun laws, though, and I don't think anyone is inherently wrong um, on, any, on anything, really. So I'm definitely open. You guys should comment what you guys think. But, yeah, that's just my two cents. But, yeah, comment what you guys think down below. And how you feel about the UK gun laws if you're living in the UK. What's it like over there? Like, are there a lot of guns in circulation, illegally or not? Um, let me know. But yeah, I'm going to catch you guys in the next one. Peace.